Hi, I'm Chad, and next to me I have my 2012 Triumph Daytona 675R that I had the pleasure of riding for the first time in two and a half months just over a week ago at Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch. It was my first time at the track and I was really, really excited to shake the bike down after repairing all of the crash damage and after installing this beautiful Brembo 19 RCS master cylinder. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend that you do so. I do a lot of fun motorcycle stuff. I love to share it with the world and you might learn a thing or two about working on your own bike or upgrading, or you might be able to teach me a thing or two. But if you are subscribed, or if you've been doing a lot of 19 RCS research on YouTube as of late, you might've seen this video up here where I break down the entire installation process of the 19 RCS in exuberant detail. At this point, you may be asking, Chad, I thought that the Triumph Daytona 675R had a Brembo master cylinder as stock equipment. You'd be right. But the Brembo master cylinders that find their way onto motorcycles as OEM equipment, they're not built to the same high specifications that the RCS and other racing master cylinders that Brembo produces are. This master cylinder has a much bigger piston than the stock master cylinder did, meaning that it can push more fluid and effectively for stopping power more consistently. And it uses finer materials and components, both externally and internally, to further add to the reliability and predictability of it. Now, in today's video, I'm going to share my first impressions from using it so that you can decide if it's worth the cost to upgrade for you and what to expect if you do decide to upgrade. But first, let me tell you a little bit about why I made the decision to upgrade to the 19 RCS. So I'm an amateur level club racer, as you might have noticed by the yellow plates on my bike. I've been racing for just about a year now, and I'm starting to get to the point where my brakes weren't really doing what I needed them to do. I was dealing with a lot of brake fade, especially after four or five laps around the track at pace during races. My races typically last eight laps. So the last two laps or so, I'm having to move my brake marker back quite a bit to be able to stop in time for the corner, or at least in enough time that I'm comfortable with. And overall, I felt like my brakes were just lacking. Now, part of that could have been due to the fact that I was running the original 10-year-old Brembo master cylinder, the OEM spec unit that came on this 2012 Daytona 675R, and it had never been rebuilt. But I was still getting that issue despite having the stock braided lines, the Brembo M4 monoblock calipers, which are excellent, Motul's RBF 660 racing brake fluid, which is a very high boiling point, and Ferrodo X-Race pads. An aftermarket master cylinder was a part that had been on my list for a very long time, and I just didn't prioritize it because I thought I could get along without it just fine. Now what finally led me to make the decision to buy a new master cylinder was following a crash at the last CRA round back in February. When I crashed the bike, crashed on the right side and rashed up my old master cylinder, the lever, and it was leaking fluid, which I thought was because it was cracked, even though I didn't do my due diligence, partially just because I wanted to be able to justify this, but later found out that it was just because the banjo bolt had come loose, being knocked against the fork tube as the bar spun around it. So really didn't need to replace it at that point, but I'm really, really, really glad that I did. So let me tell you a little bit about what it can do. Now the 19 RCS has its own lever that comes with it. It's a fully adjustable lever and it folds. So if you do crash, hopefully the lever is gonna fold up out of the way. You'll be able to fold it back and ride your bike back into the pits or wherever you need to go after that. The lever has a wide range of adjustment via this dial that's on the side of the lever right here. And what's really cool about this is you can utilize Brembo's remote adjustment system. It's another thing to buy, but it's a remote adjuster that clips onto your left handlebar and has a cable that runs to it. It'll thread into that and then you can actually adjust your brake lever position on the fly. Pretty awesome and something that you see a lot of MotoGP, World Superbike and Moto America racers utilize just because as the brake fluid and the brakes and everything get up to temperature, your bite point and feel is going to change. And that's actually something that I experienced the first time that I used this master cylinder, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. The 19 RCS also has a massive 19 millimeter piston inside of it that is used to displace the fluid and engage your brakes. But the really cool feature that it has is actually in the rest of the name, RCS or ratio click system. Now what the RCS system enables you to do is effectively change the ratio of the piston. It's got two settings, 18 and 20. The 18 millimeter setting is going to give you a 
more progressive feeling pull with a softer initial bite and just a little bit more pull required to really engage the brakes in full. Whereas the 20 millimeter setting is going to engage the brakes very aggressively. You're not gonna have a lot of travel with the lever and it's just going to be a much more precise system overall. While it sounds like it might be a complicated system, it's actually very simple to adjust. There's a little rubber cover that is on the lever itself, and when you have the lever adjusted so that it is very close to the bar and the screw is aligned, you can remove the rubber cap that's on the lever covering that screw. Just stick a small flathead screwdriver in there, you turn it clockwise to turn it onto the 20 setting or counterclockwise to turn it onto the 18 setting and you'll know it's engaged the setting by the little click that you'll feel in here. Overall fit and finish is really great. The lever feels incredible to touch and to pull. The master cylinder is super solid and looks beautiful. And I actually sprung for the reservoir mounting kit that you can buy as an optional accessory. The master cylinder cost about $290 and the reservoir mounting kit cost about another 60, but I think it was well worth the money just because it was so difficult to mount the fluid reservoir with my aftermarket clip-ons once I installed those because on this bike, the OEM reservoir actually mounts to the clip-on and has a specific thread in the bar to do that. And with that, let's talk about what it's like to use on track. Now, my first impression going out onto the track after doing my warm-up lap was that the brakes are very bitey. Now, I had done a pretty good job at setting the lever where I wanted it. I only had to adjust it in two clicks. So the distance between the bar and the lever was good. And that's definitely something that I recommend you figure out the best you can before you go out onto the track. Get it within a range where it's only going to need a minor adjustment because you don't want that lever too far or too close to the bar and not be able to use it like you expect to. But that said, especially when the brakes were cold, whew, it was scary grabbing that lever the first time. That initial bite was really hard, really strong. After the course of a few laps and just working myself up to really using it over the first couple sessions, it started feeling fantastic. Once you got heat in the brakes, the lever pull was super consistent. It didn't fade nearly as much as my OEM master cylinder did over the course of a session. It'd be a little bit cold going out for that first lap, but after you completed your first flyer, brakes were super consistent. The lever is super solid feeling and you get a lot of good feedback through it. It's very easy once the fluid is up to temperature to feel how hard you are using the brakes and feel what the rest of the bike is doing in regard. You can feel if the wheel is starting to lock up a little bit, which I might have done once or twice by mistake. But overall, it's a fantastic master cylinder. Brembo has a well-deserved reputation in this space for making fantastic racing components and products. and this definitely stands true in my opinion. So there is a newer model of the 19 RCS, the 19 RCS Corsa Corda, which I do not have. What the Corsa Corda does is actually adds three additional adjustments, but they're different from the piston ratio adjustment. So effectively you have a sport, track, and race selection, and you can multiply that by the number of piston ratio settings that you have. So you effectively have six settings with that master cylinder, as opposed to the two that are available with the standard 19 RCS. I didn't really feel like I needed to spend the extra hundred bucks to get that extra little bit of adjustment. I figured I would be able to adapt pretty well to this and would make it work one way or the other. In hindsight, I think I could have justified spending the extra hundred dollars or so for the Corsa Corda and having that additional range of adjustment. Like I said before, the first few times that I really went for the brakes, I was a little scared and I definitely got a little rear wheel hop and more aggressive compression of the suspension than I was anticipating. But after having a few laps and a couple sessions to really adapt my riding style to the master cylinder and realize that I could be much less aggressive with the brakes than I usually needed to be, it worked out great. I do think that having the Corsa Corda adjustment and having those sport track and race settings multiplied by the 18 and 20 millimeter piston ratio settings would definitely give you a much better breadth of control over the bike. I'm willing to bet that the sport setting, which is the least aggressive setting on the Corsa Corda, multiplied by the 18 millimeter ratio is probably a bit less aggressive than this is and would be a little bit better for somebody that's stepping up from a stock master cylinder, even if it's a Brembo unit, to an aftermarket racing master cylinder. Now that said, I'm still very satisfied with the standard 19 RCS, and I'm definitely glad that I purchased it. The braking feel, performance, and consistency is something that I've really been lacking for a long time with this bike, and this has absolutely resolved it as far as I can tell at this point. 
And if you're thinking about purchasing this or the Corsa Corda, I highly recommend Brembo's Fluid Reservoir Mounting Kit. Saved me a lot of time and headache. It's flexible and mounts to the master cylinder itself so as to give you an easy range of adjustment and way to figure out how it's going to fit on your bike and still be able to clear your fairing stay or anything else that might be in the way. So thus far, I'm a happy customer and I would definitely recommend. I am very excited to get some more experience using this master cylinder in the coming couple months here. Got a few track days planned and we'll be going up to Laguna Seca to race the second CRA round of 2022 in the amateur middleweight class. I know I'm going to be very glad to have this added braking performance and the nice thing about the 19 RCS and really any aftermarket master cylinder is that it's totally legal in all classes of racing. I am very excited to see how it performs over the course of an eight lap race and how it changes, if at all, in terms of feel and consistency. Nevertheless, it's a massive upgrade in any situation or circumstance from the original master cylinder that was on this bike. And once again, a great purchase in my opinion. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would sincerely appreciate it if you gave me a gentle little click of the like button and consider subscribing for more motorcycling content and adventures like this. As I mentioned, I am going to be taking this bike to the track a lot over the next few months here, and I'm excited to talk a little bit more about the 19 RCS as I get more comfortable with it and get some more experience using it. I've also got my Aprilia 210 V4 1100 factory behind me here that I moto vlog on on a regular basis, and my WR250X Supermoto that I have not made a lot of videos with, but probably will again soon. Drop a comment below. Do you have an aftermarket master cylinder on your motorcycle? Have you been thinking about one? Has this video helped you to arrive at a decision as to whether or not you're going to purchase one? Let's talk about master cylinders down in the comments below. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, later.